In this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of neural cells, the cells of the nervous system. And we divide neural cells into two big categories. The first called neurons, and the second called glia, or glial cells, or neuroglia. And there are many structural and functional types of both neurons and glia, meaning that they have different shapes and they perform different jobs. Some of these neural cells are found only in the central nervous system, which is mainly the brain and the spinal cord. So I'll just write CNS for central nervous system. And some of the neural cells are found only in the peripheral nervous system, which is mainly the nerves that go all through the tissues of the body. And I'll just write PNS for peripheral nervous system. Neurons are found in both the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Most types of glial cells are found only in the central nervous system, and a few types of glia are found only in the peripheral nervous system. Now first I want to mention some of the different structural types of neurons. That is, neurons that have different shapes. Structural. The most common structural type of neuron has a soma, or a cell body, then multiple short branching processes called dendrites, and a single long process that's unbranched toward, until it gets toward its end when it branches into multiple little structures called axon terminals. And this most common structural type of neuron is called a multipolar neuron. Multipolar with one axon and multiple dendrites. Less common structural types of neurons include neurons that have a soma and only one dendrite and one axon, and these are called bipolar neurons. Bipolar. Neurons that have a soma and only one process, which is an axon, and these are called unipolar neurons. Unipolar. And then neurons that have a soma and a single short process coming out of the soma that then splits into two long axons. And this one has a long name. It's called a pseudo-unipolar neuron. Pseudo-unipolar. And in addition to dividing neurons by structural types, we can also divide them up into different functional types. And there's some different ways you can break down the different functional types of neurons. Functional types of neurons. In the peripheral nervous system, we can divide functional types of neurons into two big categories called afferent and efferent. Afferent. And afferent neurons carry information from the periphery in toward the central nervous system, while efferent neurons efferent carry information from the central nervous system out toward the periphery. So they carry information in different directions in the peripheral nervous system. We can also call afferent neurons sensory neurons. Sensory because they usually carry information that is sensed about different kinds of stimuli, either inside or outside the body. The efferent neurons can be further divided into two big groups. The first big group are called the motor neurons. Motor neurons, which are efferent neurons that control skeletal muscle, the main type of muscle tissue we have attached to our skeleton. The other big group of efferent neurons are called autonomic neurons. Autonomic neurons. And these autonomic neurons are efferent neurons that control some other types of muscle tissue called smooth muscle and cardiac muscle. And they also control some gland cells. Now in the central nervous system, the CNS, most of the neurons in the CNS are called interneurons. Interneurons. And interneurons are neurons that connect other neurons together. So these are some of the kind of big categories of structural and functional types of neurons. But now let's talk about the other neural cells, the glia. And the first glial cell I'll mention is found only in the peripheral nervous system, the nerves spread throughout the body. And then all the other glial cells I'm going to talk about are found only in the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord. So first, in the peripheral nervous system, we have a type of glial cell called Schwann cells. Schwann cells. 
And what Schwann cells are doing is that they help some kinds of neurons to transmit information down their axons by wrapping an insulating material around them called myelin. So the Schwann cells will actually be wrapped around and their cell membranes contains this material called myelin, myelin. And this wrapping, which is also called the myelin sheath, helps these neurons that have myelin sheath to transmit information down their axons. In the central nervous system, there's another cell that does the same thing that's called the oligodendrocytes. Oligodendro, oligodendrocytes. And oligodendrocytes and Schwann cells, for the most part, perform the same function of wrapping myelin around the axons of some neurons. But Schwann cells do this in the peripheral nervous system, and oligodendrocytes do this in the central nervous system. The next type of central nervous system glia are called the astrocytes. Astrocytes. And astrocytes perform many jobs. Astrocytes provide a lot of the structural support for the central nervous system tissue. They form scar tissue after certain kinds of injury in the central nervous system. They regulate the concentrations of many substances in the interstitial fluid of the central nervous system that are important for the functioning of neurons. And astrocytes contribute to a barrier that's present between the interstitial fluid of the central nervous system and the blood in blood vessels passing through that tissue. Microglia are another type of glial cell of the central nervous system microglia and the microglia are specialized cells that kill and or remove foreign cells from the central nervous system or abnormal neural cells in the central nervous system or debris and they also work with the immune system to fight off infections in central nervous system tissues then there are cells called ependymal cells ependymal cells and ependymal cells line fluid-filled cavities inside the tissues of the central nervous system, and they also play a role in its secretion. In addition to those functions I just mentioned, glial cells also perform many other functions.